glories of the sea have in recent years captured the world's imagination like the epic drama of the Flying Enterprise. Battered by raging Atlantic gales, the American freighter drifts helplessly 250 miles off the southwest coast of Ireland. A small vessel, just over 6,000 tons, the Flying Enterprise, bound from Antwerp to Baltimore, struck raging seas soon after leaving the shelter of the English Channel. And when mountainous waves flooded her hold, she developed a dangerous list to port. Distress signals soon brought other craft standing by the Flying Enterprise, and her Danish skipper, Captain Kurt Carlsen, then ordered his passengers and crew to abandon ship. Most of them had been clinging to the higher side of the stricken vessel for 48 hours. Meanwhile, the American destroyer, John W. Weeks, had arrived from Bordeaux and tried several times, without success, to pass hot food and drink to the lone skipper. But help is on the way, and the powerful British tug Turmoil is racing to the spot, hoping to tow the flying Enterprise into harbour. The message at dawn says the freighter, still pounded by heavy seas, is now pitching over to 80 degrees, and any wave may spell final disaster. What will be the outcome of this stirring drama? Can the tug turmoil bring in the helpless vessel, or will cruel Atlantic storms claim yet another victim? Whatever the fate of the freighter, the heroic lone vigil of her captain, and the story of his courage, perseverance, and faith will be told as long as men go down to the sea in ships.